Well, we do like to give you a dose of entertainment news from time to time. And so to talk about all the hottest topics, TMZ's Harvey Levin is live in L.A. Good morning, Harvey. Hey, Jenny. Hey, so Straight Outta Compton obviously has been a huge success. $147 million, and now there's this new cost, cast for Straight Outta Compton 2. What do we know about this cast? He we got uh, some pictures uh, that were taken over the weekend at a recording studio in Hollywood where they were starting to shoot this. And um, it looks to me mm -hmm. like this is going to have to do with Death Row Records, Tupac, and Suge. Um, the cast that we can see from the pictures would be Daz Dillinger. Um, it would be uh, Suge Knight, right. uh, Lady of Rage, Tupac, Corrupt. And, uh, you know, it looks like this is kind of the continuation. Um, they were shooting this, like I said, in a recording studio. But I got to tell you, um, this movie could actually be bigger than the first one now that there's a real appetite for this. Um, yeah, and especially with Tupac. Um, you know, he has just become such a huge presence in hip-hop and rap. And I, I just have a feeling this could be enormous depending on, you know, obviously it has to be good, but sure. um, it's shaping up to be that way. Interesting. Well, yeah, I mean, even people who are not a part of the hip-hop and rap community have been fascinated by this movie and have been going out to see it. So uh, switching gears now to Jessica Alba's company facing another lawsuit. This one's over sunscreen, and the pictures on this are just unbelievable, seeing the sunburns that people allegedly got uh, when they used her sunscreen. It sounds like uh, this may be a huge problem for her company. Well, a lot of them are kids, too, that got burned because a lot of these uh, uh, products are, you know, supposedly kid-friendly. Right. So she makes, uh, her company, The Honest Company, makes this sunscreen. It's an SPF 30. Um, and they changed the formula, at least according to the lawsuit back in March, where they removed almost half of the zinc oxide, which is what creates sunscreen protection. And they still continue, they continue to call it SPF 30. And um, according to this class action suit, which is the second one, uh, a lot of people unwittingly used it, thinking they were getting 30 protection, were not. And like you said, got badly burned, and we put some of those pictures up on the website. Right, and it's tough, though, because you really, you know, you're not there. You don't know, was the child in the water for the entire time, thus washing it off? Did, did nobody reapply all day long? You know, th that, that sort of thing, but it, it certainly doesn't look good. Well, yeah, and again, uh, we, anybody can file a lawsuit and write anything they of want. Course. So I'm not about to say that this is true, what they've done. These are the allegations made in the lawsuit. Let's talk about Scott Disick, a guest now mm. in his own home, so to speak. So it sounds like uh, he can't go inside without Kourtney Kardashian's permission, which is a departure from before when he would just kind of go through the gate, right? Well, we broke the story in July that Scott was now persona non grata at the residence in Calabasas, the family home. Uh, it's in a gated community, and um, we said that now he has to check in with the guard and get permission from Courtney to come in. Um, we now have the pictures of Scott mm -hmm. doing it, and you know, you see him in this gigantic Rolls Royce, third in line behind a Jeep. Uh, waiting for the guard and it looks like he's backing up to leave so I don't know if he actually went in but um, you know reality has struck and uh, you know all of these stories about their reconciling they were never true mm, well that's what you get Scott Disick okay Harvey Levin thank you so much have a good one uh, okay Jenny you can see T uh, TMZ weeknights 11 p.m. and then weekdays at 3 p.m. Here on Fox 4, you can also find a link to the show website at fox4news.com. Okay.